Welcome to Lissertainment, the channel that does not live up to its name. Today, we will be looking at some so-called martial art masters and instructors who took their hype to the next level. Instead of just pretending to beat the students in their classes who are very willing to just pretend to be hurt by their hits, they decided to challenge real practitioners of legitimate martial arts and got taught a good lesson. Which is, don't surround yourself with yes men, because there will be nobody left to tell you that you are acting like a fool. We have seen some of these videos before, but I wanted to put them on their own video. If you happen to enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below. Also turn on those notifications. And please let me know in the comments, have you ever been so delusional to think that you were good at something and then got shown up? I think I'm pretty good at singing while I'm in the car, but then I turn the volume down and I sound like a dying animal. Starting out with a Tai Chi master who falls on his first kick attempt, which doesn't give him a lot of confidence. At least this guy is trying to keep his hands up to his face, but he still bites on many of the punches coming in, moving his hands and leaving himself completely uncovered. Also, at the end there, he had his hands too far in front and not on the side of his head, which was his downfall. Here we have a Tai Chi master that thought he was good enough to challenge a Muay Thai practitioner. The funny thing about this guy is that he bites on every punch or kick trying to catch it but he always guesses the direction wrong, which is why you never do that. Okay, okay, right here in the second attack by the Muay Thai guy, he actually does a pretty good job of blocking, but mostly because he doesn't move his hands too far away from his face. Then he bites again on the kick and gets wrecked. The guy in black is apparently a Wing Chun master, per the video description. He is taking on another Muay Thai guy who is able to knock him out in only 74 seconds. So he does last a lot more than a lot of the so called masters on this list. And he actually got some good hits in, but that's because the Muay Thai guy was a little bit too anxious and just wanted to end the fight fast. But after getting hit, he started to take it more serious and started cutting him down with knees and kicks until he knocked him out. So this is one of the videos we have seen in one of my other videos, but we have to include it in this list because it's so good. Shu Xiadong is the MMA fighter here who takes down the Tai Chi master Wei Lei in just 10 seconds. Again, we have a master who keeps his hands so far away from his face, which one, doesn't let you block or deflect any punches, but you also can't get any power into your punches. Like he appears to get a punch in right here, but it has no power, so it had no effect, and he got taken down. Here we have a Kiai master, Ryokin Yanagi, who offered a $5,000 challenge that he could beat Tsuyoshi Iwakura, an MMA fighter. Nobody came here to disprove his qualifications, he himself wanted to show that his no-touch knockouts were actually legitimate. He was so confident. Why? Well, this is a video of his students playing along with him. Idiots! He has to be paying them to play along, right? There's no way that they decide to look that stupid just to stroke this guy's giant ego, right? Well, regardless, he got beat pretty badly. Here we have a kung fu master who was offended by Morrison Butler after he tried to give him some advice on how his students are taught after one of them had lost because of his bad advice. He went to this guy's MMA gym and challenged him to a fight. Oh, boys, you're last. 
spike elbow. I kind of feel like this master is trying to act really cool because he acts so relaxed during the fight while he is clearly getting hit more often than he can land any strikes. Once he is taken to the ground, the fight is over. Here we have one of those idiot guys who thinks that he can stop other people's punches by not even touching them. This guy put him to the test. He got a quick punch in and the guy reacted by trying to hit him back, which I don't think was supposed to be part of the plan. But since his four fuel didn't work, he had to react and punch back. Just look at his stupid smirk thinking that he actually did something good. Then they go at it again and again and obviously he gets destroyed. This is Gus Caparos who has claimed to study Muay Thai for years and even started his own bullshit martial art called Green Cloud Kung Fu. Here he is taking another challenger who was able to beat him up pretty easily. This guy isn't even trying that hard as they are only slapping each other but Gus covers up so fast after each hit, turning his face completely away and not even looking at his opponent to try and block or strike back. He obviously has never trained with actual strikes as he is not prepared to get hit. Here we have a quick video about a kung fu master who wanted to show his incredible chi by lifting this guy up. To be honest, I think that's all he was trying to do. I don't know if he was also claiming that this guy was actually trying to hit him, but he obviously wasn't swinging with full speed or power, so let's assume he was just going to lift him. Either way, he collapsed to the ground extremely fast. He just went down. He didn't get any upward movement at all. What the hell is this? Shu Xiaodang, who we saw earlier, is actually on a mission in China to disprove all these fake instructors and here he is again taking a Wing Chun master named Ding Hao. is actually one of the four great Wing Chun masters in China, which makes me truly believe Wing Chun is pretty useless. If this person who is supposed to be one of the best gets destroyed fairly easily by an MMA fighter, he is not that good. Xia Dong even lets him hit him freely and he had absolutely no effect. This is another master who's never been hit before either. This is another awesome video by Xu Xia Dong who took apart another Wing Chun master. This guy's name is Lu Gang, who is another master who keeps his hands so far away from his face. I don't know if he's trying to block, catch, or grab onto Xia Dong, but regardless, he does none of that and gets beaten up pretty badly. The master also has his hands open like he is trying to slap him, which will only lead to you getting your fingers jammed or poking your opponent's eye, which I guess could help. Shifu Zhou is the master in this video and is a master in Tai Chi. This guy is standing in his typical Tai Chi stance with his hands very far out in front of him. He gets knocked out in only 5 seconds. One punch, one punch is all it took to get him out of there. He completely bit on the left hand fake out and wasn't expecting the right hand that put him down. The master here is Tian Ye, who is 53 years old and decided to challenge Xu Xiaodong, the hero of this proving fake martial arts in China. Dude, 
Shu just lets him hit him with his hands down with no effect at all. But then whenever Shu decides to turn it on, the difference in speed is amazing. Shu made this guy look like a fool after kneeing him almost completely out of the ring. I actually turned out later that this guy is just a welder and not a master at all. He was just faking it. I guess they were all faking it. <laughs> there is no other way to explain these guys other than being delusional. What kind of world do you live in where you actually think you're good at fighting when you actually look so bad against these actually trained guys? I guess it's the same thing as all those horrible singers who go on American Idol. Nobody has ever told them that they suck. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.